how we introduce this, this is good. The champ is here. <laughs> the champ. What's the up? champ. Man, we got Lorenzo Hunt in the building. Y'all clap it up for the champ. The champ. Hey. And he really brought his belt with him. Shit, oh, yeah, I'll take it everywhere, man. I don't you take it me. everywhere? Yeah, I'll take it with me everywhere. They be mad. Yeah, that don't look like that one that Pastor no. Troy be, be bringing around. <laughs> no, no, that's no, that real no, deal. That's the real deal. Um, I actually got six of them. I get a new one every time I hurt somebody. And uh, You got six? I used how, to, but how could you wear all of them at the same time? I used to wear three of them. Uh -huh. But they, they got so heavy now. They, it's just crazy. Uh, yeah, you gonna fuck it's around kids. Scarlett Johnson. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. Let me see how heavy that pass it to me, Marcel. Mm. <sighs> Shit, bro. <this> yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a nuisance, bro. But uh, you know, and, and you have three of them. Yeah, I usually wear three of them. I usually That's wear six. one across my waist and then oh, two across my, one across my waist and two across my shoulders. God, so hey. I wear them at the gym. I wear them I uh, when I'm hey, when I be talking to the kids at the schools. Yeah. When I yeah, and I'm in the airport. I have, I have them all on. It's about a hundred pounds. <laughs> Damn, that's yeah, dope. So I'll be rocking. So look, your first one, how did it feel? Oh, man. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. It was frustration, heartbreak, uh, the whole nine. Like, every emotion that, uh -huh. that, that you can have. Because they did everything in a natural power to keep it from me. Mm. I was already the baddest man in the organization. I was already going viral. I was already having viral knockouts, and they just kept bringing sure. in these, uh, these, uh, these uh, A-listers, so uh -huh. to speak, and giving them title shots and giving them all the shine. And it just, I don't know if y'all been watching, but yeah, it just made me mad one day, and I just jumped in the ring, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I pressed Hector Lombard, and he, and he punched me in my face. So it was history after that. Yeah, after that, it's up. Yeah, they ain't had no choice but to run it. Uh -huh. you know, you, he hit me, and I and I looked at him like, "Yeah, you gonna die now." And, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and everybody was like, "Yeah, I think I think y'all need to I think y'all need to run that." I think y'all need to run that. The See, world, they, they got all the anticipation. Yeah, they yeah, want. It don't the, get no bigger yeah, than that. The world, the world voted. Yeah, yeah. yeah they have a press conference. What yeah. say? You gonna die? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let yeah. them fight. Yeah. Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy Nav Green from Broken Play. Look, you know why I'm here. If you're not on prize pick by now, man, you too late. Psych. It's still time, man. Whatever you deposit up to $100, they matching it. All you got to do is use the promo code Broken Play. Everybody is winning money, except you if you're not on it, up to 25 times your money. If you put it on $100, they'll match your $100, and you can win up to $2,500. Up to 25 times. Because you picking six people, more or less. You got football in. You got basketball in. You got NBA or college basketball. What you waiting for, man? College football. The ball games are coming up. Get you six players and pick them and win this money. It's easy. It's available in over 30 states. Man, what you waiting on? Go over there to prize pick. Type in broken plate. Let them know we sent you. So you can be drinking 1942 with us. 25 times the money, up to $100. If you put in 60, they match your 60. If you put in 75, they match your 75. Man, you, your friends, y'all come up with six picks. Get you some Christmas money. Christmas on the way. What I was going to say, what got you interested into, and you know, like, the like difference between bare knuckle and actually putting on gloves? A paycheck. Man, um, Dada, I don't know if y'all know Dada and Kimbo and all them boys yeah, down in Miami. The, yeah, they yeah, was doing yeah. their thing back in the day. Um, um, Dada hit me up one day because I was big news in Florida, just uh -huh. knocking guys out in MMA. And uh, Dada Five Thousand hit me up and was like, "Hey, I I just started a bare knuckle combat league, you know, like you know, I know you like a pretty boy and everything. I don't know if you want to do this." And I was like, "Nigga, what?" <laughs> I played me for real. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but but I like, I'm like, yeah, I I do this, man. I it don't matter about gloves, huh? I ain't never felt no glove and no punch. I ain't mm -hmm. never thought about it. Right. So uh, I, I flew out to Cheyenne, Wyoming when it first was legal. Mm -hmm. And I knocked, slap, knocked the brains out of one of them boys. And it went viral and everybody was and happy about it. Since. I ain't looked back since. Like, it's been a, so you, it's been a wild ride. You knew right then, like, I'm going to stay with this. I'm going to stay with this. Well, the money was better. So I got a big family. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I take care of my, my kids and my, my family, my mom and my sisters and Salute my brothers. I'm I'm top dog, you know. Yeah. Um, besides my dad, 
and I got a lot of responsibility. So whoever pay the most. Yeah, that's what you're going. Yeah, with. That's so the bare I'm knuckles paying pay more than yeah, the all, MMA. the bare knuckles paying more than MMA. Don't 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 bite the the garbage. Yeah, bare true. knuckles paying more than MMA, and most boxing like promotions is paying trash too. Uh -huh. Um, um, in the in this new bare knuckle sport, even though it's a new sport, uh, bare knuckle fighters are being paid more than than the than the um newest pro boxers and the and the pro MMA that's fighters. Crazy. They're not making no money. And it's why why you think that though? Think that? No, I'm saying why you think it's like that. That's what I'm asking. Oh well, bare well shit. I know dangerous. you know. Bare knuckles, <laughs> bare, bare knuckles, dangerous. Uh -huh. Bare knuckle is dangerous. You know, uh -huh. and um, it's not a sport. You know, uh, 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 MMA is a sport. Um, um, like techniques and that, that nah, type. nah, nah. What I mean by sport is, I mean you have on safety equipment. That's literally what makes it a sport. It's just a game. As long as you got on a helmet and safety equipment, it's mm. just a game. When you take off the gloves, it's no longer a game. Mm. <laughs> so this ain't no game. There is. So yeah, yeah. So uh, so I'm in there doing it for real, and uh, they don't want it. <laughs> and you were there since like I said, Bare Knuckle started in 2018. As far as the organization, yeah, I was there, there since, since 2020. 2020. Okay, yeah, cool. I came in through the tryouts. I was, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the uh, after that I hit me up and uh, they had a little trouble starting up. Another promotion got bigger, a little faster, and uh, they wasn't really trying to give me no play. They had their mind made up about the kind of people they wanted in. Mm -hmm. So I just crashed the tryouts and just beat everybody up. Just went crazy. Trials are just yeah. like fights, like kinda. They kind of simmered down a little bit now, but when I went through tryouts, you had to show. What you could do, Antonio Tarver, Rumble Johnson, mm. and uh, and one other mm. guy that was the judges, and we would come in and we would put our name in the hat and uh, and they match us up and we <laughs> smack it out, just go, <laughs> yeah. Crazy. And so uh, yeah, they switched it up a little bit, but but uh, yeah, when, once David Feldman, the president of the company, and uh, and uh, Rumble Johnson and Antonio Tarver, you know, they was kind of arguing about like like you know if I could do it for real, yeah, and uh, not call Tarver out like. I, I I just honestly didn't recognize him, but it wouldn't have mattered because I was like, "What you mean? Can I do it for real? You want to see?" And uh, he was, oh, <laughs> and everybody was looking at me like, "This, this." But you confident? Yeah, yeah. 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 Talking, That's but you didn't know it was that. Nah, I, nah, I mean, <laughs> but you still fight. don't care. It's still two leg, two two head, two arms, two legs, and a head to me. Yeah. But you know, it would have been a good matchup. He might have surprised me with a move or two, but yeah. but we'd have got some work. But yeah, they they gave me the green light and uh, it's been a wild ride ever since. Knock for sure, out, for knock sure. Out. Salute that. Growing up, like, uh, were you into a lot of fights and stuff? Yeah, I must say, man. Just um, off on some. Nah, like I was never a troublemaker, but I got a big family. And when you got a lot of responsibilities, like you gotta like herd the sheep, keep everybody tight, and be mm -hmm. everybody's you know hero. So I did get into a lot of stuff because I got a lot of sisters and a lot of cousins and a lot of. You know, I grew up in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, Garden Valley Project. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, the worst possible project you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Remember Bone, Thugs, and Harmony used to uh -huh, say yeah. about East 99? Yeah. East 99 was the suburbs compared to oh, dang. where I'm from. <laughs> You understand? Yeah. Shit, bare knuckle. That's the least of your words. Yeah, you you yeah. ready to yeah, goddamn yeah, do nah, that? Yeah, you nah, like, nah. I ain't got to fight no pistols? Yeah, no. Nah, it, it was all bad, yeah. So like I said, yeah, violence, it just became like a, a, a kind of a natural thing. I hate to say it like that, but I'm not yeah. shy. No, for about. sure. But So tell me, Lorella, when did you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Because like sometimes people, you know, they fight, you know, they fight all the time and stuff. When did you know, like, I could take this to the next level? Did somebody see you and like, hey, bro, all of us fight, but you could fight. Honestly, when MMA started to become a big thing, I was like a a martial arts guy, karate guy, uh -huh. Kempo karate guy. You know, we didn't really respect the, the MMA would take off the way it did and do its thing. And then watching them guys fight, it's like if you can hoop and you see a ball game, you think they can't hoop. Right. You're like, all right, mm -hmm. I want to play. Uh -huh. So I'm watching them guys. I'm watching them guys in the UFC and I'm watching them dudes make that money and get um, Reebok sponsorships and do commercials. And I'm like, bro, I know I can, I know I, I know what I do to you. Yeah. And I'm just walking around with this power. And at the time, I'm a tow truck driver. I'm 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 just a regular guy, you know, with all these muscles. Hey, imagine. You know what I'm 
<laughs> Man, he get home with the Batoya shit and you get the talking shit. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you don't even know who you talking yeah, shit you to. You, talking, you don't know who you talking to. He done whoop your ass all yeah. up all of that spare yeah, time. Yeah, I used to repo. I used to do emergency roadside service and repo. But you the wrong motherfucker to <laughs> repo. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker don't need, hey man, come on, bro, please. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, uh, and I just got tired of seeing the garbage. You can, I could see the mistakes. Right. And I, I was like, man, I'm going to shoot my shot. So I uh, signed up for uh, amateur MMA bouts in uh, St. Augustine, Florida. And I was smashed them all down the whole coast. What what what's like your training regimen? Is it uh uh I own a gym in Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, y'all so, getting money. So I'm teaching every day. Bad knuckle getting money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm teaching every day. Uh -huh. So every day I, I figured I say I train four to six hours a day, regardless of whether you with me or not. Mm -hmm. So I say I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna create a platform where I offer that type of training to the regular gym. And what's the name of the gym? Let the, uh, it's uh, Juggernaut Life Fitness in Jacksonville, Florida, Juggernaut off of uh, Landon Fitness. Boulevard. Mm -hmm. But uh, so what we do is, I'm going to run my workout every day at the same time. You can come. That's now you a member. Now you work out with me every day or one of my partners. And, uh, and from like 6-ish to 8.30 in the morning, I, I do one session. And then from 6 to 8.30 in the evening, I do another session. Like I said, that's for between four and six hours a day mm -hmm. that you got some work with a professional, yeah, at a professional and so, level. And so they training like how you and train. And they training you like how I train. Yeah, you. I ain't watering it down. For yeah, them. yeah. <laughs> hey. Nah, they training like how I train. Now I, I will take you know my time and go over the basics because that's all fighting truly is mastery of the basics. Mm -hmm. Once you master the basics, I can hurt you with something simple. So once I you know just keep going over to keep going over and teaching it means I know it. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you can't teach it, you don't know it. Did you watch professional boxing growing up? Yeah, yeah. Everybody Ooh. loved Mike yeah. Tyson. And, oh, that. And, and that Holyfield. And... Are you for Holyfield? Honestly, Holyfield's my favorite fighter. Mm -hmm. For real? Oh, Holyfield. You know, he's from Atlanta. Man, listen. When people people compare me to Mike Tyson, because I got a lot of knockouts and I show uh -huh. a type of aggression. And then the type yeah. of, I show a type, type of, of aggression, too. type of yeah. attack. That people not used to. You know, people go to sleep around me. But, but, but if, but if I had to, like, if you ask me, like, who would you rather fight, Mike Tyson or Holy Mike? I would rather fight Mike. for real. I Mike could, in his prime. I could beat Mike. I don't know if I could beat Holyfield. Holyfield was a monster. Go watch it. Holyfield, the only person to ever beat Mike twice, and he beat the people he beat up. Mike, he like. Think about it. <laughs> he beat up the people who beat up Mike Tyson. Then he beat Mike Tyson ass twice. <laughs> but man, Mike was a motherfucker yeah, when he first some, came. Mike was nice, man. I love Mike, but he had some mean marketing, and you could tell. Mm -hmm. You could tell. So, like, do you do you knowing that and seeing how the game was with bare knuckle? Do you think about marketing tactics with that? I'm the master. Yeah. yeah. So when you when you I know you probably be meaning that shit you be saying and doing, but the way it come off is like you know you know what to get them going. What happens and how to is, sell it. What happens is we get used to pretending to be normal. And so we sell a normal face. We mm -hmm. sell a nice guy every day. We sell that. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be nice. Right. Politicians have to be nice. Babysitters have to be nice. <laughs> McDonald's workers. <laughs> Service with nah, a smile. Nah, not McDonald's work at Chick-fil-A. I'm just saying, you got to be nice. You got to speak to me and be nice. I don't have to be nice. Mm -hmm. So when I want to turn off that filter, I just turn it off. And I get paid to beat people up. So eh, I turn it off. And when I turn off that filter, it's kind of like people tune in because they never get to turn off their filter. Mm. They wish I had people that be like, bro, you my spirit animal. I wish I could tell my boss, Ain't no champ unless I say so. I wish I could pull up like that, but I pull up like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pulling up like that. So look, some of that shit that you be doing, they don't know. No, they never know. They don't know what they expect oh, from they, you sometimes. Oh, no, they got seven <laughs> security guards around me all the time. They don't never know when it's going to pop off, so they just send security over to stand next to me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's great. So who who you looking who you looking to who you think will be the best fight moving forward? Um, 
it ain't about the fight. It's mm-hmm. about that belt. Mm-hmm. Right now, I am the double world champion. That means I am the reigning defending champ over two divisions. Mm-hmm. The 185 division and the cruiserweight division, which it's is 205. Ever, right? Say history. that again. That yeah, the that's the time? second time. It's one other guy. He had it for a moment. But mm-hmm. I'm going for the third title, which is the heavyweight title. And there's never in the history mm-hmm. of bare knuckle boxing been a three division world champion. How, how would that weight jump up be though? From 185 to 205 to 235 and up. <laughs> so the guy well, that's that, a range out this motherfucking yeah, world, bro. And I've been and I've been I've been handling it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been handling it. That's why I said if y'all been watching Bare Knuckle, y'all will see this is a uh this is history in the making. Mm-hmm. I'm um I'm 11 and 1, 12 and 1, um even with that one outside the promotion. Mm-hmm. Um 10 knockouts, uh one decision, well two decisions. Yeah, it's 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 wild. We was talking about the um before we started with uh Marcel was talking about uh the one uh Henry, Henry yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a it was so funny cuz you like when I saw that fight, like when you mentioned the Mike Tyson, you attack like you're low and you're attacking full, and he just like hit him, but he didn't. You didn't really hit him, and he just like was not. I thought he was knocked out. You see the replay, like you didn't even touch him, like yo, and you like yo, bro, get the fuck up, bro. Let's nah, do this. what happened is he just curved, he just cowered. I think he lost before he got there, mm. and it was a mind thing that's, that yeah. happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. Now you can say it's like a mental thing, or I play a mental game, or I got in your head, but I don't care about none of that because at the end of the day, it's a fight. So make whatever excuses you want to make. I knew he ain't never been in a real fight in his life. Mm-hmm. You know a real fight? When everything get tore down and ain't no bail and ain't nobody coming to help and everything just get ripped off and sometimes y'all might be damn near naked, but you still fighting. Like, right. ain't no help coming. I, it ain't like nobody... <laughs> Like I can look at this man, and yeah. tell nobody ain't never and you tried know, you for your life. You can tell where people come from. Like that's when you feel like I got the advantage of Sparring over this. is different. Uh-huh. It's a game. Boxing is different. It's a game. You might be a good boxer, but you ain't no fighter. If I walk up to you right now and rip your pockets off and take your money and beat you in your face, like is you gonna box me? How? You yeah. ain't got your boxing gloves on. Motherfucker look at <laughs> motherfucker look at wait a minute, I gotta roll he, that. He looking yeah. for the he looking for the ref to break it up because I'm doing too much. Wait a minute, let me throw nah. my combo. I'm finna throw nah. a two, three, two. No, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Listen, finna until whoop your way. the moment that I got that championship belt, this type of violence that was in me, I was ashamed of. Hmm. I can't walk around with this. I can't show people this. I can't, people can't understand what I'm capable of, truly. It's a secret. Yeah, but now <laughs> you good. You like you run you run around in a tow truck. They don't even know how much no, build up. Even, no, don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even need the tow truck <laughs> to take your car. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta pretend to be normal. Yeah, you know I and mean? hey, you know why I'm here, man. <laughs> Nigga talking all nice. They get the rude and shit. Did you have ever have to check somebody on some shit like that? Well, it was pretty much uh, Jacksonville, man. So oh, I did yeah. security too. So I used to do security at night, Boy. trying to make ends meet. Nigga don't know. even know who they could be. Yeah, yeah. 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 it then happened yeah. a few times, bro. Like they just tried me. I had a dude literally like get a little too tipsy, walk up to me and tell me, like, I beat your ass. I can't stand light skin niggas. Yeah, that's what he basically said. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. he said. My mama left my daddy for a lot He finna like he finna, he finna get he his ass in his feelings. That's and crazy. I'm looking at him, you know, trying to see if he about to turn that into something, you know, because I ain't really allowed to initiate it. Mm-hmm. But I'm allowed to finish it. You was hoping he'd do so. Not necessarily. I don't like beating up drunk people. Oh, okay. Yeah, but right. if Nobody you do. lose yourself, I'm going to lose myself. Right. I don't know how to not to. Yeah. And uh, like I said, a few times that didn't happen in the club where I didn't have to drag some people and hurt some people. But I, you know, so we go back the to game. the camera and I just show him like, hey, you know, he he started it. He initiated it. And we good. We finished it. Yeah. 
How how your kid how you feel about if your kids follow follow you know what I'm saying will follow in your footsteps. I'm fine with it. Um, it's a do you of, teach them tactics and stuff like that? They come to the gym every day. I heard, you know what I'm saying, your dad was, it's he a, was trained under your pops. It's a type of genius. Mm -hmm. There's a, 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 um, a academia genius and there's a physical genius. Mm -hmm. Somebody who can do things with their physical body that no one else can do. Just like a person can work with numbers and calculate large numbers. Well, he can barely walk. I can walk a tightrope. I can fly if I want to. I can dunk. I can move fast. I can. If you try to hurt me, you can't. That's a type of genius. And my children possess that. And mm -hmm. they know it already. That They've been taught. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so when they come to the fight, they follow it. They know what's happening. They see, you know, the moves. And they like, Daddy, I do, do it. You know, they know the moves. So I'm proud of them. And they proud of me. Yeah, that's what I know. That's a big yeah. man. They gotta be. You walking around with all them belts. They yeah, know yeah, they're yeah. They, know, they know they they know they champions. They tell all their friends at school, and <clears> you know they all their people want to meet me. One day I came home, and all the kids was out there. They wanted my autograph. Yeah. <laughs> was that's there a good was feeling. there was there an age that you you let them you know experience it first? Because I know like you know I follow boxing. I know a lot of boxers like they don't let their kids come to matches until a certain age. Stuff man, like that. Whatever. Wow. <laughs> I ain't on that. Listen, the world ain't as, that sweet like where you can just show them a little bit and Cause they, hope they pick it up later. You know, with it YouTube ain't, ain't now like and stuff that. like that, these kids gonna get they they gonna see stuff before we even can introduce it to them. Right? It ain't it ain't it ain't sweet like that. I I let them in on what this how this how daddy pay the bills. Uh -huh. This is where your food come from. This is where your shoes come from, and they with it. It's where you're all in the business. Yeah. <laughs> they, they with it. You know what I mean? Like, my, my daughter, she, I, I cannot believe this. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, no, go ahead. You dance for that motherfucker. Um, I'm doing an interview. Uh, you're going to have to call me back. Yeah, I can tell you just a fighter. You don't even <laughs> know how to put that motherfucker on silent. He yeah. ain't talking yeah. that bitch off. <laughs> <laughs> my, my finger don't fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but for real though, um, yeah, my kids is you would love, you would you would be able to tell, like you can see it on them. Uh -huh. Don't mess with me. Yeah, like they. Yeah. I I rather that than them to be getting bullied. Yeah. Bullied yeah. No oh no. Doing. Yeah, nah. Call me cause somebody down. Yeah. I I bail her out. Hey, you tell you know what? what? <laughs> I got daughters. I got grown kids. I got twenty one year old daughters. Yeah. Like nah. Yeah. What'd she do to her boyfriend? All right, I'm coming. Oh, shit. He probably know not even. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Like, she been trained up. They been yeah. Trained up. They strong, yeah. strong, you know what I mean? I'd he coming to the house strong. talking that shit. I'd rather you be strong than be weak. I can't The I police can't pull up, you. she still got him in the headlock. Yeah, I'm not. Be. I'm not finna <laughs> convince. Nobody is okay to be weak. Man, you were supposed to be in the creed, but you had to train for a fight. Bro. That would have been. Listen. Which movie? Which one? The first the last, one? The last The last creep. creep. Yeah, so uh, well, one of my good friends uh, reached out to me and was like, hey, bro, I think this part would be perfect for you. I read the script. You should come down and try it out. Uh -huh. You know, I had got, finally got, after all that hooping and hollering and getting punched in the face, I finally got my title fight uh -huh. in Miami, Florida. It was huge. So I had to fly away to train. I had to lose a bunch of weight. I had to go, you know, meet all these qualifications, do these weight check-ins and blood tests, and I just could not make it to the tryouts. But when I watched the movie, the whole movie's about me. It was like I was sitting there, I'm near tears, both sides. Mm -hmm. The boy that the boy that um, lost his life to, to, the, to the joint and spent all that time in jail and couldn't ever live his dream, and the boy who actually got to become the champion and actually learned how to soften his skills into something feasible that can make some money. Right. That wild, vicious animal that y'all created. And the polished young man that uh -huh. the other one... You seen both was sides. Both me <clears throat> with the little girl that he hit miss with and the other dude that's mad at the world. I was both. Uh -huh. I was both people. So I'm like, damn, this whole movie about me. Yeah, you can see both it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. 
What part were you trying out for? What they wanted you for? Well, I, um, for the for the antagonist. Um, oh, okay, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, I gotcha. forget his name, but uh, he did real good. I mean, they got big followings. Both of them dudes. Jonathan Majors. Majors. Yeah, yeah and, uh, and 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 they both of them dudes are superstars. So uh-huh. you can't compete with that. But I had my own path, so I went and. Yeah, Respect. shit, you ain't gonna turn down the title. No, 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 no. Title no, no. fight. That's what you've been yeah, looking for, for yeah, anyway. That's what I've been looking for. Uh huh. To be the best in the world. Yeah. And shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What age you thinking about when you, like, you, like, after bare knuckle? Like, um, I mean, I always, always been on it. I've ran my own gym now for at least five years. Uh-huh. Um, I have students, I have, I manage fighters, I find mm-hmm. other guys fighting. Who next up? Who next up? Yeah. For me to fight? No, no. Who next up that you see after you finish? Um, I really, I'm really putting a lot of energy into this young man, Isaiah Washington. Um, Isaiah he's Washington. He's a six and oh out of uh Jacksonville, Florida. Mm-hmm. Um just uh it's so much that you can't teach. It's so much that the world has to teach you. But mm-hmm. I can teach you how to how to fight. But all the trip ups of the world can keep you out of the gym and keep you in trouble or keep you in jail. And I can't teach you how to avoid all the pitfalls because I hit every bump. Yeah, and that's what made you. I hit you. every single bump. Yeah. So when you get in trouble, don't call me because I ain't got nobody to call. You stomach that shit, you eat it. Mm-hmm. And then we see what come back. I, I'm hoping you come back stronger like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's going yeah. to make you or break you. It's going to make you or break you. So I, know, I see how passionate you are about like, you know, like fighting and stuff like that. Do you watch any other sports? If you if you didn't box, did you ever play ba- basketball, football? You got like a running back type. <laughs> back. type yeah. Stature. So so we got a lot of athletes in my family. Like uh-huh. high level. Like matter of fact, my cousin Kareem Hunt plays for the Browns. No. Yeah, that's my that's my little cousin. My, that, my oh, father. And he up there in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, he in Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. My father uh, taught us both martial that's arts, right. the same foot stances, the same. Boy, quick so step. he might whoop a nigga ass oh, on the field. Oh, he definitely fight. <laughs> Oh. Don't even get the, yeah. We don't need to bring yeah, that up. Yeah, yeah. Don't we try. Not, not in the NFL. So. Fuck around and but find no, out. No, like the way he move. If you go back, if you watch the way he move, and mm-hmm. you watch the way I move, you'll, you'll see, see it. it. Yeah, you'll see our bills, our calves, the way he shaped yeah, that whole saying. nine. I can yeah. see running back like and, um, you, but you never was into football. Though. I, I wasn't allowed to. I did a little bit. I tried, but my father. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He like no. No, no, no. You know, mm-hmm. I was only able to really, truly do this because I was grown. Mm-hmm. But my father was like, no to organized sports. No to the Army. No to the military. No, like, just come Damn, on. Damn, I can see you in the Army, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a multi-purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I would have been that one they sent in there and maybe not come back. So my father was like, nah. Yeah. And now I see why. Because you probably would have, they were like, no, nah, yeah, we got to wait. Man, fuck that. I see them. <laughs> I got that person. That I'm going to beat their ass. I got that person. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it, it can, you know, I got lucky. I made it. Mm-hmm. You know, most people didn't. Most people I know, most people in my family, most people I grew up with, I might be like the last three. Ain't nobody left. Mm-hmm. So, no, that's all I do. No, nah, that's real. That's all I do. That's it. So look, there. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this. So like when you train and how do your diet change? So now that you gotta gain gain weight, so it switch it up. What you just like? Good. That brings me to my next plug. Uh, I got a juice bar in my gym. We sell juice. We uh-huh. we package and prepare um whole foods and um and um what I call juggernaut juice. Uh-huh. And it's basically like a little secret mix of you know secret ingredients uh uh that my my grandmother taught me, and um. When I have to train for my fights, I basically go on a liquid diet. And I know there's a lot of people going to be like, oh, my God, no, how, what? Oh, you won't be strong, but they're wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. You don't need a caloric high diet. You need a nutrient high diet. Mm-hmm. You can have all the calories in the world and be starving. You need nutrients. So when I switch to my, to my um, juicing and I... Um, bags of spinach, bags of kale, um, um, apples, pineapples, just every day. But it's turmeric. no protein. Nah, you are protein. Mm. Like, that's a lie. And I'm breaking down muscle. I'm telling you, I'm come, cutting from 230 to, um, I'm cutting from 230 to 185 for championship weight, right? 
Crazy. Somebody told you meat was protein, right? You need protein. You 200 pounds of meat. You are a protein. You don't need no more. How long would it take you to cut that type of weight? About five weeks. Bro. Five what, weeks. What's the rest? That's 45 what's the rest pounds. <laughs> what you say on that? That's yeah, 45 pounds. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. That's and, when, and, and when you look it up, when you see me, you'll bro, be like, I'm struggling bro. with these six pounds. I get that off you in no time. I get that off you in no time. In no time. It's the first week is what's hard. Uh-huh. After that, your body completely and you don't eat. You don't eat past a certain time. No, I'm telling you, liquid diet, like you broke your jaw, uh-huh. like you in the hospital, and you can't. And you, you can't yeah. chew liquids. That's how what helped me. I had to get a root canal. In my goddamn too. I was on smoothies. The whole week. <laughs> smoothies, liquids. If you switch the liquids, you you good. Yeah. All this will just come off because the body will eat what you stored, and we all know that. You know, mm-hmm. once your stomach shrink. Then your body start eating what what is stored. Then you got a six pack. <laughs> People say they want a six pack, but every time they stomach growl, they stuff something in it. Well, right. it was shrinking for you. Uh, <laughs> you didn't know that. My shit just growled. It's shrinking. Don't worry about man, it. Man, why? You, you, you get to the house, you go and you go. No, nah, you gonna watch that motherfucker eat a po boy sandwich in the middle too. <laughs> they eat just order. Really good, but it's it's vegetarian. Yeah, um, <laughs> I brought y'all some shirts. Oh, for um, sure, man. We got some member people, Billum in the yeah, house. Yeah, I ain't know how many people was in here, but this is pretty cool. Um, I just nah, got all my merch. No, we gonna frame this and hang this, man. Yeah, I, just, I just got all my merch. Oh, no, nah, that one awesome. hard. I might wear that. i show you what I did to the boy. That's disrespectful. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Put him on a t shirt. <laughs> That's hard. Man, you Four. a cocky motherfucker, Four. man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's 185. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm like a movie, like, like <laughs> that's, a movie. Bro, bro that's real. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube, that's exactly what happened. It was nuts, too. That was a wild night, boy. Shout out. What, 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 what was this fight at? That's uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Sold mm. out stadium, bro. Screaming at the top of their lungs. Shocked the world. Shocked the Whoop whole boy world. Ass, how many, uh, he, how he many, me. How, how many states is bare knuckle legal in? Because Atlanta just uh, got legalized. Yeah, you were Atlanta them, right? just got legalized, man. Pretty soon, we be looking at all the states. But right now, I think it's under... Under twenty five, mm. but uh, but, what's the uh, what's the biggest like the biggest city that for me is Florida. In? I'm from Florida. We fighting in Miami. We okay. fighting everywhere. But I've been on the world tour, smacking smacking them down. Your favorite son, you put him up here. I'm gonna <laughs> teach him. Yeah, and I, I've been in um, I fought in um, I fought in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I fought in um. Miami. I fought in Louisiana. I fought in like we. It's popping. You know, um, Denver. My last fight was in Denver against Chris Camozzi uh, from mm-hmm. the UFC. I, I I beat the snot out of him. <laughs> and um, this is how it's done. And then I just been on the world tour, and people starting to recognize. And that's what's up. It's time for it, though. Yeah, it's, it's time. It's a global. It's time. Like global. I said, it, it, yeah, and it's really big overseas. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's what's next. I'll probably be in Wembley Stadium fighting for the heavyweight title. Ooh, Wembley Stadium. You know Stadium. what I'm saying? You know, that's like a hundred thousand. That's a lot, man. Talk, man. Talk, you can't talk, even hear yourself man. breathe. You talk, can't even man. hear yourself think. Yeah, but, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, Atlanta, Georgia, uh-huh. it's just legalized. We coming here next. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You'll see billboards everywhere. You're going to see me. going to be like, man. Oh, yeah, no. We come, I don't put that support. work in. Yeah. I don't yeah, put that work in. Sh- show the shirt to the camera one more time. Oh, yeah, Let yeah, get yeah, that, yeah. man. Yeah, I brought y'all some of them. Atlanta soon. Yeah, Atlanta, bare knuckle. You gonna bare see knuckle. that boy, man? The juggernaut. Yeah. Juggernaut life. Yeah, you can go to my website if y'all want a uh, t shirt. It's uh, www.juggernauthunt.com. And I got all the merch on there. It's that's a, um, www.juggernauthunt.com. Dude's face on the shirt, like. Yeah, no, he's Bro, that's, a, that's <laughs> on some disrespectful, like, like, what the man, fuck you gonna do? Listen. I don't whoop your look, ass, whatever. Look, nah, that ain't what that is. When I looked at him like that, I thought he was dead. Now you got to go watch the fight. Lorenzo Hunt versus Mike Richmond. Tell me you don't think the same thing. When I hit him, I'm like, man, you made me kill you, man. I, I didn't even. But Lorenzo, you ain't look like you had no sympathy looking down. It, his ass better not get back up. I, I, it was it was a wild night, bro. I'm telling you, like this is a this is a very t- like this is the high note. Uh-huh. He was on my it's like a tiger. He, this boy was a, a, a ex marine. 
mm. uh, trained to battle all his life. He came in there. He hit me with the old good old eye poke. Six shots to the belly. Mm. Knocked me down. Everybody was like, oh, he... He out of here. But you already knew. You like nah, that's the most that's the nah, best you got. Nah, I got up. Yeah. I but sad. you knew you had took you Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I had to get rid of you, man. Yeah, straight up. You like brain him. I had to get rid of him. Man. Bro, he wasn't playing with me though. Anything else you want to let the people know, man? Yeah, like I said, um, man, tune in. Go to the Bare Knuckle app. If you ain't familiar with Bare Knuckle, you late. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we've been we've been virtually all over the world. Uh, yeah. We're going to Thailand. We got because there's been a lot of Thailand, clips that go on, Thailand. but you never know when like the fights be. Yeah, like, yeah, be yeah. Because you got to be literally like following. Like, yeah, you and be knowing a fan what's going to on. Kind of kind of know what's going on. You got to be tuned in or like go to because there be a Knuckle lot of clips app. on TikTok too. You knew that. Yeah, 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 yeah. TikTok do real good. Instagram do real good. Go to. Uh, uh, the Juggernaut Hunt um, on Instagram, on or just Instagram. type my name in Lorenzo Hunt. You'll be able to follow. Uh, we got a fight coming up in Miami at the Hard Rock. Uh, What's the in, date on? Um, uh, the second, February second. February second. So yeah, two, it's a two. title fight. So yeah, I'm, I'm I'm at all of them. Mike Perry just fought uh, uh, Mendez uh, mm -hmm. for the uh, for the uh, for the, the the King of Violence belt, and it was nuts. So you even when you, you a fan of it, period. Oh, like, you yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I can tell you like, yeah, well, you want to see the sport grow. When, yeah, not, no, not it's it's yeah. done. It's the fastest growing sport right now mm -hmm. in the world. Nothing's mm -hmm. growing faster than bare knuckle right now. More, more, um, more, more pay per views. More, more streaming. More, we have more pay per view deaths than most. Companies have views. And right like, now, like right now, like we and right now with it. boxing being at, you know, like on yeah. the decline yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like yeah. And it's shift. exciting then the MMA shift. done got kind of boring. They done figured out all the ends and now it's to hold your toe and, right. and got your pinky toe. And then yeah. so, Wayne, he just bought that slapping, the slap league and shit. Yeah, and it, it, it hit for a couple of days and then fizzled. But bare knuckle here to stay like I'm telling you. You got to start watching. If you ain't been watching it, watch it. Get up on it. Yeah. Man, it's a pleasure. We had Lorenzo Hunt in the building, man. Make sure you follow him. Jug hey, why all the champs do that when they hold up? <laughs> Maybe because I throw 50,000 punches a week. It just do it by itself. <laughs> I'll be an old ass man like... <laughs> hey, yeah, we, every time they show the boxers at the fight. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yeah. I got you. It's in the fist, bro. The yeah, power in the that fist. I still beat you. Yeah, I still whip your got, ass. I got, I got it right here. Yeah. Man, we appreciate you pushing up on us, man. Yes, we gonna sure. definitely goddamn support any way we can. We gonna, I'm telling you, we're gonna hang one of them shirts. So yeah, I, I like got some shirt. posters for y'all too. So oh, for this sure. was another one. This was my last one right here. What's uh, that right there? Uh, I had to put it on him too. Ooh. That's the one. That's the one we hanging <laughs> up. <laughs> Hey, yeah, Lorenzo, we had we had a damn boxing glove, and, and no nobody, it was nobody's. We just used to have shit <laughs> sitting right there. Yeah, yeah, just sitting right. But now with that, we could goddamn have yeah, some real memorabilia in here. Yeah, man. nah, y'all gonna love it. Once you tune in, you won't tune out. Yep, you know I mean? for sure. Um, shout out to my sponsors. Shout out to Ikikata. Um, shout out to Venom Drip, and like I said, Bare Knuckle. Check out the uh, Bucked Up Energy Drink. Listen, man, go to. My Instagram or find it on YouTube. Just type my name. Lorenzo in. Hunt. You will never, ever, ever. If you like fighting, you will never stop watching Bare Knuckle. Say less. Man, appreciate there you pushing again. up, man. <laughs> appreciate you pushing up. We had the champ pull up. Tied out to Lorenzo Hunt, Juggernaut Hunt, the motherfucking champ, Bare Knuckle. And you know, champ. Yeah. Shout out Let's to Thanks, Less I said. Thanks, thanks for having me, oh, bro. Man, no. Hey, man, you, you, good market, man. Yeah, you, bro, but no, on some real shit, like.